Welcome to the Moody Reel, ladies and gentlemen. And this is where I review and new releases of television shows and movies, be it in theaters or on streaming platforms like Netflix and Amazon. And since we're on that topic, today's review, of course, is on Netflix's Marvel's The Punisher. But before I go on with the review, I want to make something very clear, ladies and gentlemen. Film is subjective. That's the whole beauty of it. So as we all may love watching movies or TV shows, we agree on certain things, and that's great. We also will disagree on certain things, and that's also great. That's the entire beauty of it. The point is that at the end of the day, we all enjoy it. Blunt, raw, unapologetic. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the most ruthless ride that Marvel has provided. I have used those terms so many times, but ladies and gentlemen, there is no other way to describe the first season of The Punisher. You've got the best actor to embody Frank Castle in John Bernthal, alongside, of course, Deborah Ann Wall playing as Karen Page from Daredevil, keeping the entire Marvel TV universe intact and tied. Until, of course, Disney decides to uh, snatch it away from us for their own streaming service, but that's another topic for a different day. And believe it or not, Ben Barnes playing as Billy Russo plays one hell of a villain. I mean, he's got a knack for these kind of roles. And the most recent example of that would have been HBO's Westworld. And the same goes for the entire cast for The Punisher. They really strike a fine balance, making this entire machine flow like clockwork. Season one of The Punisher is like cleansing our palate from that horrendous first season of Iron Fist. And even though The Defenders did an okay job, it still kind of left a bitter aftertaste. After that, all I really wanted was more Daredevil, to be honest. Even though Daredevil is still my favorite in the Marvel TV universe, the slap-in-your-face fashion of cleaning the kitchen by The Punisher is absolutely brilliant. I'm still a believer of you can finish an entire season within 10 episodes rather than the 13th, which this is. The pace of this show did just enough to deliver that visceral punishment. And I don't want to talk too much about the action and violence because it's sort of a, it's sort of a giveaway. It's kind of obvious, hello, Punisher, awesome violence. Even though I don't condone it, ladies and gentlemen, whether it be a weapon, gunplay, or close quarter combat, it is action and it, of course, it is fiction at the end of the day. However, the chemistry between John Bernthal and Eben Moss Backrack is actually really entertaining. Watching the two taking jabs at each other in a sporting fashion was, it's just fun. It, it makes you chuckle. The production level and the overall execution by the selected directors did a real wonderful job. Making this as my third favorite season in the Marvel TV Universe right after the first two seasons of Daredevil. I really do believe that they really struck a fine balance between uh, actual drama, actual performances being highlighted, and the action and the violence. It wasn't, it, it wasn't grotesque. It was tastefully done and really did justify uh, the character of Frank Castle. And man, John Bernthal's range in this is just, I mean, if you don't appreciate this guy's performance in, the, in this first season, I, I really don't know what to tell you. That is word for word what I typed on Twitter, which was then uh, shared on Facebook. And I'm telling you, some people agree with me. Or you can disagree with me, it's fine. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was my thoughts of the first season of The Punisher on Netflix. Uh, watch it now, stream it, uh, binge it. Don't worry if you binge it and you think it's oh, maybe just too heavy. It's really not. It's not heavy, as I mentioned before. It's very well paced, even for 13 episodes. Although, again, I will say again, 10 episodes, Netflix, you can do it. You've done it with your other shows that have been successful. You know what I'm saying? But I don't work for Netflix. They know what they're doing. And I love Netflix. Thank you, Netflix. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And as usual, please like, share, and subscribe. I highly recommend this show as I would highly recommend other TV shows and movies right here on the Moody Reel. Until next time, guys, have yourself a nice binge.